How many kings has Gondor had? Do you know? After the downfall of Numenor, the exiles of Numenor, led by Elendil, established the realms in exile of Arna and Gondor. Arriving at the mouths of Anduin, Elendil's sons, Isildur and Anarion, ascended the great river and founded the realm of Gondor. The line of the kings would endure for over 2,000 years, but would eventually fail with the presumed death of Aona. The kingship would be restored later by Aragorn, the hidden descendant of Elendil. The first line of the kings of Gondor were primarily members of the House of Anarion. Ernur was the 33rd and last king of Gondor. He took the throne upon the death of his father Ernil, two in Third Age 2043, and after his disappearance, the stewards of Gondor ruled in his name for many generations. Mardil Voronwë was the one who started ruling Gondor after the death of its last king Ernur. This line of ruling stewards carried on through 26 generations to Denethor II, ruling steward at the time of the War of the Ring. Soon after the death of Denethor II, Aragorn Alessa was crowned king of the reunited kingdom. Alessa would rule until 4th Age 120, before passing the rule of the kingdom to his son Eldarion.